Hello there, welcome to this channel, and I hope you're here I'm your Admiral, and today I'm going to show you a bit of an interesting video. Now, I recently, well, yesterday, but today, I got Chewbacca in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. Obviously, that's nothing compared to getting C. But what I wanted to talk about was just how difficult this guy's event is. Now, I don't have great bounty hunters, I know that. I'm not using the best bounty hunters in all fairness. I probably should change out Boba, Dengar, and Cad Bane with Aura Singh or Grief Karga and Boss. In all fairness, I should. But I don't have those characters leveled up enough, so I thought I'll just go for it. My main thing here was take out Han, use Django and Mando to, you know, try and get out. Now, all these clips I'm going to show you are all failed attempts. And I have not done a victorious attempt since I even got Chewie. And even then, it was super difficult. This guy has a such difficult event because the tunes are so fast. The enemy is just so quick in this. And literally, all I had to do was so much modding in this. I had to remod Mando. I mean, I had to remod my Django, who I used to get Padme, and he was brilliant. And he was one of my best characters. Obviously, to get Padme, I did have Count Dooku at Relic 6 because of C. But, you know, Django was super helpful in that. And so here, I thought, you know, he'll be fine. I still had to remod him. I had to remod my Boba Fett, who, in all fairness, wasn't great anyway. And I probably needed to remod him. But I remodded him here. And I still need to do more modding because it still wasn't enough. And I know in this tender looks really good until then because they're so fast and just what you need is Mando to take out Chewie with his insta kill. Otherwise you are not going to get this done easily. And trust me, this is only to unlock Chewie at five stars. At just five stars and his event is still really difficult. Now, trust me, I don't plan on getting Chewie at seven stars yet. This was just a bit of a side thing, because obviously I was working on C, as you've seen. But I just want to point out just how difficult this guy's event is. Now, Padme's event is pretty difficult, because the Separatists aren't Grace, unless you're great, not Grace. I don't know why I said that. But, you know, unless you're using Geonosians, Padme's event can be pretty difficult. I mean, the Geonosians are brilliant, they're a great faction, unless... I mean, later stages of the game, they're probably not as good, because, you know, you can beat them with Jawas, as we've seen. But, you know... It's still quite a difficult one. And then you've got the Troopers event, which I still haven't even done, and I dread to do it because the Ewoks are not very good, and you're taking on pretty much this lineup, but, you know, it's not that lineup. But it's very similar, meaning it's a very, very, very difficult event. And I don't look forward for the Ewok one, and trust me, I will probably end up making a video on that, but I haven't even got there yet. But for now, let's focus on Chewbacca. And this guy's event was just so difficult. Trust me, it took me so many attempts to actually get him. I probably spent an hour of just flat-out attempts and eventually going, oh my gosh, thank the force for finally getting him. And in all fairness, I probably could have waited longer to do this. I probably could have, I mean, I probably could have, you know, upgraded all the characters that really I should be using. But, oh well, I didn't. I kind of thought, I've got all the characters there, I might as well try it. And what I kind of wanted to show you in this is, you don't have to have amazingly good bounty hunters. Really, you just need great modding, and you really just need speed on your side. For Mando, speed and health. For Django, probably nice offense, but you still need a lot of speed. For Boba, I guess critical chance, or crit damage, and then speed. For all of them, you need so much speed. And I cannot stress enough how much speed is needed to actually beat this Rebel team. And the reason why this Rebel team is so quick is really just because of Han. Now, as we know, Chewbacca gives out that guarded. Now, whoever has guarded will mean that Chewie will assist. In this case, Han and Leia in that one. And in most cases, it's going to be Han and Leia. Now, the problem with that is they're going quite quickly, and Chewie packs a massive punch because of his flipping bowcaster. And Han, obviously, as we know, attacks very, very fast. And that's what his character is designed to do. So you're always getting a constant assist pretty much Chewbacca. Meaning that it gets very difficult and you're being absolutely hammered. And the reason why that makes a giant problem is your characters will not survive unless they have good health. Or Django Fett on his team, when, when he gets his contract triggered, he then gets damage immunity for two turns. Problem is, how do you get that contract triggered? In this case, I use Boba to pretty much just take out Han first, pretty much. First person to actually attack. That's who you take out first, well, to take out with the contract. And there you go, you've gotten the contract triggered. But still, so difficult. Now, eventually, when I did get this character, I did bring him into Galactic Challenges, and I know what you're thinking. 
Grand Admiral, that's not the best places because of all the modifiers. Well, this guy challenge didn't really benefit the rebels as he's fighting the rebels. The only benefit they gave you is that frenzy. So ignore any assists from anyone, including Old Ben, CLS, and Han. Anything from the true backers, that is something that will happen in all of it. I even went into a separate mode. I think it was a cantina battle because I thought I might as well try it out because I didn't think the health was right. And all this health is exactly perfect. That's what happens. And I found this so easy. And yes, it's the Phoenix Squadron. They're meant to be so easy. They're a great team to farm up if you're a new player in the game. But, you know, this team is very good. And I'm very happy that I do have Chewbacca, even though his event is so difficult. And as I said, modding is so important. Pretty much for Dengar and Cad Bane, the reason why I didn't really cover them much is because they were just a bounty hunter that I just went, okay, I might as well just throw them in. Dengar, I will admit, was actually quite useful because it meant that R2 couldn't put anyone on the smoke screen, but he still wasn't very good. But anyways, I hope this is a bit of a, you know, warning and a bit of a heads up if you are going for Chewbacca. He is quite difficult. Comment down below if you want me to do more, I guess, you know, Count of Heroes videos. I'd like to do them. I've got a pretty good roster, but I mean, I'm nowhere near Arnold T101. He's amazing, so shout out to him anyway. But tell me down below if you do want to see some more of these. I hope you have a great day. Yes, I will get those lights of videos and weapon videos out. I'm really looking forward for them. The whole team here aboard the Eternal and everyone working on these videos is really looking forward for it. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon. If not, have a great day. Have a great week. If I don't see you then, I probably will because of all the advent calendar ones. But yeah, may the force be with you and have a great day.